G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and have you heard people say, whatever you do, don't use wood chip mulch or any wood based mulch around fruit trees or in the garden because it sucks the nitrogen out of the soil? Well, I'm here to tell you that that's a total myth, and I'm going to prove it. So let's get into it. Now, do you remember, if you watch my videos, you might have recalled a video I did about the love chair, how it escaped, a huge branch fell from our Moreton Bay fig behind us here. It fell and just missed the love chair. We had, under the shade of this big fig, we had a nice sort of shade garden, an ornamental garden, and we have fruit trees around the outside where it got a fair bit of sun. Anyway, some of these really huge branches fell a while back and I spent a long time and I did some videos on it cleaning up the mess but it happened again we've had so much rain this last month it's like lucky it's shining now even this morning it was still raining but it was it's been on and off but we've had heaps of rain it's great for the garden and the fruit trees but yeah we've dropped quite a few the soil is getting a bit soggy and in particular, this Morton Bay fig just dropped some huge ones. I got a bit of help, I had to, because these branches, some of them were wider than a foot, or more, two feet wide, and uh, I just couldn't do it all on my own, so I got some professionals in to chop it up, well, to help me chop it up. I've done most of the chopping, but definitely some professionals in to help me mulch it up. They did an okay job. I wasn't in, exactly enthralled with the job they did, but anyway, getting back to that love chair, on this second time, the love chair wasn't so lucky in love and it's absolutely shattered. So this is it over there. Yeah, it seemed to be a direct hit right on the good old love chair. So this whole front portion of our yard is now a big mess. Anyway, let's go and I'll show you what I've been using all this mulch for. So behind me, we've got a marsh grapefruit and several other fruit trees that I took the liberty of mulching with that extra wood chip that we've got now. And so that's how it is. Out of bad comes good, doesn't it? We can always turn a negative into a positive. And we've done that with a little bit of hard work. Using that wood chip around the fruit trees is going to be fantastic for those trees and it's going to help them produce a heap of fruit. And this is a great example behind me. This grapefruit, it's a marsh seedless. Look at the fruit that's all over it. And I've mulched it again with wood chip. This has got hundreds of fruit on it. The tree is healthy. It's green. That might have a bit of sooty mold on it here and there, but that's nothing. You know, a few caterpillars from butterflies. I've remulched that tree and of course we had wood chip mulch all around it and for most of these trees, especially when I start them off, I like to start them off with a really good helping of mulch and keep up the mulch for the first few years because I think it gives fruit trees a great start in life if you've got the roots protected with a big strong helping of mulch. I don't believe in that myth, that's what I call it, that mulch takes nitrogen out of the soil or locks nitrogen up meaning and other nutrients, meaning that the fruit trees or other plants can't access it. I just don't believe that at all because over the last decade or 12 years, I've been using this method of mulching heavily, using wood chip and other mulch around our fruit trees, and it's, they've only grown fantastic this tree here this is a honey mercot last oh, about 12 months or 18 months ago i didn't have any wood chip mulch but i had a whole heap of palm fonds that i chopped out and instead of throwing them in the tip i mulched it around this honey mercot and the reason why i paid close attention to this tree was because it nearly died on me it had an ant's nest right in the base and I actually had to chop the tree out or pull the tree up, get rid of the ants and then replant. And that set the tree back severely. And it's always 
been doing quite poorly ever since. Anyway, after mulching it with the palm fronds, and they were green by the way, I just threw them on there and stacked them up. Within 18 months or so, they had just sort of mostly turned into soil themselves. And you can see that this honey murcot is doing really well now. And so I've re-mulched with this extra spare mulch that we've got. But it's now fruiting properly for the first time. It's got a good crop on it. They'll be lovely for winter. On the other hand, you look at trees that have always done really well, like this lime. Some of the limes on this tree here is as big as cricket balls. And you can see the mulch breaking down here. You can do with another good mulching again. You can probably see the remnants of wood chip in here. And I've said this before many times on my channel, but this lime tree here is uh, just an all year round producer for us. It produces just so many, you can't possibly eat them all or even give them all away. It's magnificent. And one of the main reasons for that is the mulch. It's the same with this Maya lemon tree. All we've done is mulch it heavily, and I spoke a lot about that in that video, or one of the main reasons why it was so productive. So yeah, we've been putting the mulch to some good use here around some of the younger trees as well. We've got a young Valencia orange over here that's a seedless one. We've got a, a, another Valencia orange that's a seeded one through there. But yeah, I've just mulched that heavily, give that young tree a good start. And I'll, and I'll take you back over to the other side and show you uh, where I've also utilised a lot of this mulch. So along here we've got a range of different fruit trees or food plants from this curry tree here. to a sail on hill berry, a couple of apple trees, a fruit of the Andes, beautiful avocado. This is an endril, which I'm gonna to have to pick that avocado very shortly. But that's got about 13 fruit on it. And then I've got some newly planted trees here, a West Indian lime, a standard bush lemon that I've always wanted. This one here is looking a bit sick because I transplanted it, but it'll come good. This is a Japanese lemon, a Yazoo. I'm looking forward to that being a productive tree because it's a very rare lemon and uh, apparently really great with Japanese cuisine. And so I'm keen to get some fruit off that. Then we've got here a, a um, tangerine something different. This one here is different as well. It's a cross between a lime and a mandarin. And then we've got an Australian native lime over here. You can see that I did have some mulch around the plants. I decided to just make it one long bed with all that excess mulch that I've got. So that'll save on mowing and it'll be really good for the fruit trees. You just gotta to remember to keep the mulch away from the trunk. That's about the only thing that I'd recommend you don't do with mulching, and that is put the mulch around the base of the plant and around the trunk of the trees. Always keep the mulch out about at least, say, half a foot or a foot away from the center of the, the tree. It was pretty hard work wheelbarrowing all that mulch around. It took me ages, and even just today, I spent three hours straight shoveling and wheelbarrowing mulch underneath trees and along here, this garden. And you might think, well, why don't you just put it all in a trailer and then go around and, and shift it out or get a little backhoe and do it that way and be much easier. Well, to be honest, 
I like exercising in the garden and I do use this type of work as an excuse for fitness. Otherwise, if I'm not doing anything, I'll have to go for at least a run or a jog or work out in our home gym just to keep the, the fitness up. One of the reasons why I'm such an advocate for this type of lifestyle is not just eating the good food that you grow, it's also growing it, preparing it and doing that extra work. It's good for your health to get out there and sort of be forced to do that exercise to produce that food that you love to eat, that fresh food and healthy food is also healthy to produce it. And if I can get an excuse, yes, it's hard work to, and, and it's monotonous, so I definitely listen to some tunes or some, I, um, or some podcasts while I'm doing this type of backwards and forwards work, but it's certainly worth it for the exercise part. But not only that, when you're, it, it, it saves double shoveling. You can imagine if I got my trailer and just put a whole heap into the trailer and then shoveled it underneath the trees. Yes, you, it's only one go into the trailer, but then you have to shovel it out of the trailer and around the trees. So it's sort of double, it, double handling in a way. And the other thing is with a wheelbarrow, you can fill that wheelbarrow up and it's more targeted and it's easier to position underneath a tree. So I do like it for those reasons as well. Yes, it's long, it's arduous, it can be monotonous and hard work, but it's good and healthy and it's a good way to do it. So that's why I don't shortcut it when it comes to doing this type of work around the place. And that's why I love and enjoy it. I guess you could really call me a mad mulcher. But I do truly believe that mulching and wood chip in the garden and around fruit trees is good for them. Certainly much better than not doing it. If, say hypothetically, there is some argument that wood chip sucks a little bit of nitrogen out of the soil, say it does, say you notice that your fruit tree is looking a little bit nitrogen deficient, the leaves are a little yellow, and, and you've just happened to be placing mulch around the base of it. Perhaps it's not the mulch. It might have gone like that anyway. And an easy way to fix it is by giving a little bit of fertilizer. In a case of a citrus tree, give it some citrus fertilizer with some trace elements, and that should fix it up anyway. But that mulch will break down underneath the tree. And what it'll do is those microbes and the fungi and all those things that help that mulch break down will also help the tree to grow and absorb nutrients better and therefore create and give more fruit. So forget the naysayers, forget anyone who says don't mulch your trees because it's bad, because it sucks the nitrogen out and your trees will be worse for it. Don't believe that. Get into mulching, mulch around your fruit trees and in your garden, your vegetable patch. They will love you for it and they will produce more fruit and veg because of it. Well, I hope you got something out of that video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video around. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.